Edmonton, welcome back to Dinner Television. Now, Streds, I know that you've shared your story about um, infertility with um, your wife with me, but I know you're yeah. going to share it with everybody now. Yeah, I'm really excited about this. My wife and I struggled for five years with infertility. All week, we're going to have different guests talking about the different areas as far as adoption or uh, in vitro, all those types of things. And now we're going to share my wife's and I's story right now. Here's what happened to us. It took us five years to get a family started. Check it out. We struggled to get pregnant for quite some time, and it was, I think, going into being married, you have an idea and a picture of what your family is going to look like. And for us, it didn't end up turning out that way, and all for good reason. We got the three children we were supposed to have in very unconventional ways, um, starting with our oldest, Kane, who came to us via adoption. I did six rounds of failed IVF and then we decided we were going to go a different route and we went to an anonymous uh, a clinic in the states where you can do anonymous egg donor uh, at the time that wasn't available in Canada it wasn't something that was we had access to for anonymous so we found a clinic in Seattle and we got an egg donor and with that the cool thing about that is I was able to carry the baby so it was a combination of an anonymous egg donor's egg and Jason's sperm and then I got to actually incubate and carry the baby which was pretty cool so I got to experience pregnancy and um, yeah so five months into being pregnant everything looked like it was good we were ready to rock and we went away and got a pretty cool phone call while we were away I'll let you segue from there mm, yes yeah, so we got a phone call uh that our son, uh, Kane, had been born uh, in South Carolina. So we flew down and uh, we picked him up. Um, and it was the best day of my life, or our life collectively. I'll never forget that day. We walked into the office and they presented him with us, or to us, and he was unbelievable. He was, uh, right away we took to him, we had to stay a couple weeks down there to get all the paperwork done, because it is a long process, but it well <laughs> worth it. And then we fly home uh, and we're not parents. Uh, and it was Shona being pregnant. So basically for those uh, four months before Marley was born, Shona was working a lot. So I was a primary caregiver for Kane. I was with him every night uh, when he was getting up and feeding. And then four months later, we had Marley. And, uh, you know, that was a special moment too. Just as special as Kane. Uh, different, but just as special. And uh, it was an exciting moment for us. So here we were. We went from zero to two in four months. And And I think there's a lot of people we've, sat on this couch and and um, discussed infertility issues with a number of oftentimes complete strangers that have reached out to us yeah. hearing of our story and I think there's a lot of worry in going into sure your family's coming to you in a different way and in a different means but are you going to feel connected I think oftentimes is the is the question are you going to feel like there has never been a time where we look at any of our children and they feel like they're not ours our uh, freebie as we call him because you buy two you get one free in our case Drew our third child then somehow came to us in our third round of miracles uh, we conceived him naturally uh, so he's it's it is it kind of ties in that combination of these three little people who were meant to be ours and all came to us in their own little way that each is equally special and so I think for us it's about sharing that it's okay to have a family that looks different and what family means to one family is not what family means to the other. And your family unit can look any way and it's still yours. And I think that is mm -hmm. for us the most important message to convey and that your baby's out there somewhere. You just don't ever lose hope. And you have to be patient, unfortunately, and you have to work hard uh, to get it. It's, it's not easy, uh, whether it's through treatment, adoption, uh, all the, and even more naturally. Uh, there's a lot of work involved. Now, some of that work's fun, but it is a lot of work. And uh, you have to be patient. You have to work hard for it. I would say one thing. If, if there's anything that we could say to couples struggling to get pregnant, go see someone. I think that was a major turning point in our struggle to have a baby was finding this amazing psychiatrist, Dr. Jim Caniff. Praise Jim. Holy man. He was there for us for so many questions and... Yeah, he, it's yeah, being able sure. to talk through it.